We now find ourselves in Hugo, Oklahoma on this stormy, rainy Sunday afternoon. Hugo was an off-season home circus back in the day. This is the old train depot here. Came here to look for the grave of Lane Frost. I want to thank you for joining me today on this edition of Faces in Death. I'm your guest host, The Insane Chef. Today, we're going to be looking at some graves of some famous cowboys, Lane Frost and Freckles Brown. Join me. So here we are at the grave of one Lane Frost. It's all the trinkets they left by his headstone. And Lane is buried next to his good friend here, Freckles Brown. He passed away just before he did. So most people came familiar with Lane Frost through uh, a recently passed away actor that played Lane Frost in the 1994 movie, Eight Seconds, a guy by the name of Luke Perry. In other words, he was very famous and popular in his own community, the rodeo community. However, the general population of America became familiar with him when that movie came out. So not only being cemetery to rodeo clowns and rodeo legends, it's also the off uh, the off time place for the circus, and many famous circus people are buried here as well. One of them being Gail Miller. Now we're in part of the cemetery where all the circus. people are buried. It's called Showman's Rest. This part of the cemetery here is all lined with these elephants showing where all the circus men are buried. Joe Wallace Cooper, big top circus agent.
There's Mary's actual picture there. So I reckon I need to correct myself. This is a tribute to all showmen. It's to call them circus men, the showmen. Here's a headstone here, Jack B. Moore. Headstone's made to look like a big top. Sarah Babe Woodcock. This is Babe Woodcock from the Orton family of early American circus pioneers. First year on tour, 1853. William Woodcock here was an A1 elephant trainer. He's at rest now. And the circus that was based here was the Kelly Miller Circus here in Hugo, Oklahoma. This picture here, you can see one of the trucks behind there with the elephants. Now this would be a very interesting stone with the battleship engraved as well. Well, it's been a real honor for Mr. Lamont at Large to have me do one of these editions of Faces and Death. If you'd like to check out my channel, I'm the Insane Chef. A link will be in the description box below. Thank you for joining me and have a good day.